Yeah, definitely there is a link between uh, uh, legal rights and uh, economic opportunities. Uh, for example, if we, if we try to look at uh, the family laws, uh, domestic relations, um, in several countries uh, the, there is discrimination in, in um, national uh, family, family laws. Uh, for example, in the case of Ethiopia, uh, in the year 2000, uh, our family law was amended, and uh, that amendment removed discriminatory provisions, which says uh, the, the husband is the head of the family, uh, property management is a prerogative of the husband, um, or uh, you know, age of marriage for girls is 16 and for boys is 18, but the family law uh, removes that discrimination and uh, equalized age of marriage for both girls and uh, uh, boys. And uh, access to land uh, in terms of uh, especially you, you, you use fractory right, uh, the, the right to use land, um, and also uh, inheritance rights. Um, are uh, women are entitled to equal inheritance rights. So these kinds of provisions have direct relevance to improve women's economic opportunity. For example, if we take marriage age, the fact that um, the law provides that women should be married at the age of 18 will increase the opportunity of women to stay in, um, uh, in the schools and uh, to sort of um, extend the age of marriage, uh, which will also increase the opportunity for education and uh, employment. Uh, property management at the domestic level is uh, very critical to women because um, previously a man disposed property without the knowledge of uh, their, their wives. But uh, following the amendment of the family law, uh, women are informed. For example, if the husband is going to mortgage uh, the house uh, with the bank. So these kinds of uh, changes definitely have uh, implications for expanding women's economic